Jane. Jane, is this Jane? Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you going? I'm just going to quickly turn on uh, FaceTime and I'll pass you on to someone special. Hey, Dane. How are you? Good. Off to school today? Uh, yes. I'm having a late day. A late day? Oh, lucky boy. I had a couple of them in my time as well. Hey, guess what? What? I've got some special news for you. Okay. How would you like to go to the grand final? Uh, I'd uh, really like to. <laughs> yeah? Well, guess what? you just got two tickets to go to the grand final. <laughs> How good's that? Uh, good. The first grand final I've been to in my life. Mate, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, the Brisbane Lions and Sandgate have obviously teamed up and Sandgate, the, your uh, local junior football club, came and reached out to us and um, we've been able to get a hold of two grand final tickets for you, mate. How good's that? Uh, really good. You play a bit of footy? Who's your, uh, who's your favourite player? Uh, Dane Talker. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was, a, that was a question I knew, already knew the answer to, mate. What position do you play? Yeah? What about kicking goals? Second favourite. Uh, I've got a couple of questions for you. Far away. How much kilometres do you run in a game? Oh, roughly between, between 10 and 12 kilometres. Yeah, so a, a fair few. There's some players that run, yeah, it's a bit of a mind explosion, isn't it? Some players run about 14. I don't run as far as them. I'm, uh, Getting too old for that. What do you have for breakfast on a game day? Um, normally, I would have a couple of English muffins with Vegemite and avocado and a slice of cheese on that as well. And I'd have four of them. Yeah, just to get me fueled up, ready to go. What do you have game day? Normally, wheat mix. Yeah, perfect. Who is the hardest team you've versed? So far? Well, probably the two teams, one we've already played, Richmond, um, and the one we're about to play, Geelong. They've, um, you know, they've given us our challenges over a number of years and we're fortunate enough to beat Richmond to put ourselves into a preliminary final and um, hopefully we can, um, you know, beat Geelong tomorrow night would be a, a fantastic achievement for the football club. But those two teams have been amazing for a number of years and they've probably given us the most challenges um, to date. My, my friend calls the Geelong cats the meowing cats. <laughs> yeah, very clever. Oh, no, oh, no, I won't be calling them that. They're, uh, they're pretty tough. They're pretty hard team to beat. Who, who's going to mark Dangerfield? Oh, it's a good question. I don't think we'll have anyone uh, specifically mark him, but uh, collectively as a whole team, I'd like to think that we'll be able to hopefully nullify his impact on the game and if we can do that it'd certainly give us a, a good opportunity to win the game. Who, who is the team clown? The team clown? Yes. Oh, I want you to guess that. Who do you reckon it could be? Charlie Cameron. Well, he's one of them, yeah. He, he does baby shark now. Yeah, there's one more. He wears number five. Uh, Mitch Robinson. Yep, correct. He is the absolute class clown. I, I heard he He's a professional Fortnite player. He is a professional Fortnite player. He's very good um, at all those online games. He's actually quite good and he's pretty good on the football field as well. Well, I've, got to, I've actually got to get to training now. We're just about to start training, but I hope you have a fantastic day. Congratulations again about uh, winning the grand final tickets. Um, and make sure you uh, tell everyone at school today. What do you reckon? Okay. Sounds good. All right, mate. Thank you very much.